Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, greetings, and welcome back to Let's Play Scratches, the Director's Cut Edition. You should all remember what we are about to do. The upper floor's equivalent of the lower floor's basement, if you will, the gallery. The doctor who lived here, a friend of the family, heard strange noises coming from it. He also talked about something being inside of this gallery, something he wishes he could have destroyed, but that would have forced him to admit its otherworldly nature. Judging by everything I found out so far, I am pretty sure that this gallery could be <clears throat> could be the African collection of objects from James T. Blackwood. So, are you ready? I don't know what will be waiting for us inside. Is that story of the crazy doctor just going to be humbug and nonsense once again? Is it just going to turn out to be crazy talk? Or will we actually find something threatening in here? I am not really scared. I was scared with the basement, but only because the basement is all the way down there, partially in the dark. This is just a normal room, <clears throat> and look, there's even light there. So, how threatening could it possibly be? I say there's only one true way to find out, so... Let us not postpone it any longer. We can give Jerry a call later. Let us head into the gallery and find out what all the fuss is about. I was unusually surprised after entering this room. It was some kind of gallery, its theme being African culture. <sighs> Here we are. Let's have a quick look around before we examine anything. Hmm. This is, without a doubt, James T. Blackwood's personal gallery of the African things he brought with him from his journey. Okay. This is the hobby that Mr. James loved so very much until that one night. That one night with the horrible ritual and that weird mask he mentioned. Where should I start? I have to say, <clears throat> this room doesn't seem threatening, but the atmosphere? The atmosphere is definitely unique. For some reason I feel like not everything is alright again. Just like downstairs in the basement, it is that weird kind of feeling in the atmosphere that even though the room is illuminated <clears throat> and nothing is jumping out at you, something is still not right. But what is it that is wrong? Let us try to get our mind off of things and let us just start to examine this room. That will calm us down. Let's start in that corner over there, shall we? Alright, James' collection. Let's see what he loved so much about African culture. Here we have a display of masks, and, hmm, one mask is missing. Either that, or it's just laying somewhere. Maybe he lost it. Can't really imagine that. Or maybe he only had three masks so far, and planned to put a fourth one inside. Oh look, at least there's daylight coming in. I can see the sky. That's calming me down a little bit. Let's have a closer look at these, shall we? Hmm. A round-shaped mask with a rather <clears throat> dopey expression. Well, I have to be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. I am not a huge fan of masks. I own a few masks, but with these kind of masks, it's always a little bit strange. I mean, these masks are normally used in rituals and everything. Rituals. Hmm. Say. No, 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 that couldn't be. For a second I had a random idea, but... But that would have been... That would have been quite suicidal. You know, for a second... No, 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 I'm, I'm not gonna say it yet. I'm just gonna assume... What I want to assume. All those masks. They made me feel very uneasy. They seemed to be guarding the room. That's lovely, Michael. So you think that these masks are overlooking the room? Great. Now I don't
don't feel alone anymore. Now I feel like there's a weeping angel behind me. Hm. Well, these things are in a display, so it's not like they can jump out at me. But it's just a lifeless frigging mask. I'm already getting into the mood again I had down there in the basement. This room is normal. There's nothing <clears throat> threatening about it. <laughs> I'm kind of losing my fears because I am trying to be I'm trying to be brave. I'm trying to resist the gloomy atmosphere of this place. After all, I just wanted it to finish Michael's second novel. I guess we can examine the other masks though. Hmm. Long nose. Looks like an eye is stuffed because it's so dark, but it's probably just a shadow. Hmm. Well, they are making Michael feel uneasy. And this mask doesn't even really look like a face, it's just hinting at it. You see, these are the eyebrows, and this is the nose. Hmm. Well, as long as they are inside this display, as long as a piece of glass is separating them from me, I feel safe. So let's see, what else do we have? Hmm, another display. The view of the central display was nicer from the other side. The central display case, I should say. Hmm, from the other side. Well, we can take a look at that very soon, but there's more to this side of the room. Let's see. A carpet-like looking thing. I'm sure there's a different kind of name for it. A curtain? No, I wouldn't call this a curtain. It looks more like a combination between a curtain and a carpet. Like a wall carpet. And it's showing an elephant. The design is pretty nice. We have roses and leaves surrounding the elephant. Hmm. Oh, and by the way, that's some lovely wallpaper there. Hmm. And here we have a bunch of random stuff. Let's see. These big things here look like shields. We have more African vases. A drum. A drum, and whatever the hell this is supposed to be. <clears throat> I'm guessing that this could be a music instrument of some sort. Okay, that's all to this side of the gallery. So, no wait, there's one more object here. A necklace of what looks like a claw. Hmm. Could this be the strange item the doctor talks about? Nah. <clears throat> this doesn't look otherworldly. This just looks like a normal... What would you call it? Looks like a normal... Hmm. A normal souvenir from Africa. Something that looked like a lion's claw was firmly attached to a necklace. A lion's claw? Hmm. It is rather fancy looking. <clears throat> I actually have like a silver pendant shaped like a claw. <laughs> But I'm guessing that this is a thousand times more fancy than just simple silver. Well, it's definitely nice looking. Nothing wrong with the gallery so far. <laughs> the doctor hyped this place up so very much, but other than the <laughs> constant noises in the air, there's nothing wrong with the room. It was all just a lie. Everything is gonna be alright, and I don't like these masks there. Let's have a look at the display. Let's head over there, as far away from those wall masks as possible. I have to say, I really don't like these masks. Oh my, it's like they are looking at me. I hate masks so very much. Alright, I am getting a little bit of my fear back now, but <clears throat> it's not too much. I'm still calm. Let's just examine the central display case now. Hmm, what the hell is this supposed to be? Can I examine it? Not from here, but it looks like... Is this also supposed to be a waste? I don't know what kind of material it's made of, but... I guess in Africa it would look fancy. Hmm, can I not examine this thing? Hmm, <clears throat> apparently not. Well, that's a shame. But we have other objects to look at, so... Let's do that. Hmm, looks like a pot. There's 
some kind of opening up there, I think. So probably just another vase <coughs> with the motive of a tiger. The beautiful vases were mesmerizing. Aha! <coughs> so they are supposed to be vases. All right. I can live with that fact. Hmm. I'm guessing Michael will just say the same thing to all these other things as well. Yes, indeed, he will. <clears throat> Sorry about my throat, ladies and gentlemen. That likes to happen every now and then. This vase here has just a weird design, just like the one on the far left, but there is a nice motive on it. I can see plants, I can see water, fruit, I think. Not too bad. I don't dislike African culture. When I say these vases look weird, I'm just saying it because I'm not used to this kind of art. But African culture does look very nice. So, that's all to the central display case. Just random trinkets. That's the word I was looking for, over there with the necklace. Random trinkets that James T. Blackwood received in Africa for his hard work and interest in their culture. There's nothing wrong with that, I guess. And he built this very room here, I think, just for this collection. He mentioned something like that in his diary, that he had to build a new room on the second floor. Or maybe even that he had to build a second floor entirely. He did mention something about moving into a new place with his wife Catherine or something. I forgot the rough details, but who knows. That only leaves us with this corner, well, this side of the room. Wow, look at these. Are these supposed to be elephant tusks? It is quite cruel to remove the tusks from an elephant. It is in fact horrible. I am not a fan of it. And even though these trophies might look very nice and detailed, I I hate it when animals have to be hurt for stupid reasons like getting trophies. And sadly, the humans are so very stupid. Not offending anybody right here. I'm only talking about those who actually hunt down animals. It will never change. One day this very world will cease to exist, and mankind will have learned nothing. Anyway, I'm digressing. Let's have a look at this. The display case was holding perhaps the most impressive items in the room. Yes, both impressive and gruesome at the same time. At least Mr. James didn't... Whoa. I am... Simply going to ignore the noises. I am <laughs> I am not hearing them. They are they are not there. A pair of huge carved tusks were occupying a corner of the gallery. Carved even. Yes, it does look very elegant, but I told you what I think about it, so I don't really want to look at them too much. Hmm, anything else? What is this? Is this just supposed to move the case? It wouldn't move. Yes, indeed. Probably very heavy. I wouldn't be able to move it either, I think. Is there anything else to it? Nope, I don't think so. Oh. <coughs> you can examine the lower area of it. Well, here we have just some vases. Hmm. The bottom of the case seemed to have some kind of panel. Oh, really, does it? A panel? Hmm. It was firmly stuck in place. Hmm. So, there is some kind of panel down there. Well, whatever it is for, we can't do anything with it at the moment, so moving on. Let's have a look at these wallpapers here. Hmm. African drawings. Always very unique looking. Not really my taste of art, but I'm not gonna insult it. It is definitely unique, and I mean that in a positive way. Examined this already. There's another big shield with two spears. Oh dear. Well, let us approach the final corner of the room. There seems to be a lot of fancy stuff over there. Hmm. Well, some tribal masks accompanied by decorated spears. Look at the feathers. More vases. Hmm. Another drum. Hmm. 
I am really starting to wonder what this doctor was so very afraid of. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this room. There's probably a natural explanation for the electricity problem. And those noises in the air, I will just ignore their existence for now. But other than that, everything seems to be in order. There is no otherworldly object in here. They are just random masks, random vases, drums, and some stuff here on the table. There's really nothing out of the ordinary here. What was this doctor so very afraid of? Hmm. You know what I just realized? We are in the freaking collection, the freaking gallery of James T. Blackwood, right? Look at all these objects. How expensive must they be? How precious must they have been to him? And yet they are all here, but he is not. This is now definitely bugging me. Alright, they left behind their furniture. They left behind personal belongings like diaries and etc. But James T. Blackwood left behind his biggest hobby of all time. He just abandoned all the African objects he had acquired in Africa. A necklace, drums, a music instrument, shields, vases, everything. This doesn't make any sense. Why the hell did he just leave his collection behind? For a second I wanted to believe that there's nothing wrong with this room, but the sole existence of this room and that everything is still here is reason enough for me to be confused again. Why is all this stuff still here? Why did he leave it behind? Hmm. Another piece of wallpaper. Can't make out anything really though. Only some pieces of it seem to be shaped like the African continent. Hmm. Maybe we can find something on this desk. There seem to be pictures, so let's have a look, shall we? Hmm. Let's have a quick look. A hat? A picture of a man? Could this be James T. Blackwood from his time in Africa? Another picture here. An old petroleum lamp. Hmm. Another one. A scope. A map of Africa. A flask. A compass. Oh, and there's a document there. Hmm. The lamp seemed to be broken beyond repair. Probably the souvenir of a hazardous journey. So if James T. Blackwood even had a very dangerous journey in Africa, that would be even more of a reason to take all the souvenirs with him. Why did he leave them behind? I am so very confused. I mean, look at all of this. <clears throat> this is all the stuff he took with him to Africa, all the stuff he used there to orientate himself. Why is it all here? It's like all these old objects must have been so very special and important to him, and yet he just abandoned them. In any case, maybe this old document here can explain more. What is the mystery of the gallery? Let us find out more. World Arts 19th of September, 1962 Dear James, I'm going to make use of these resting moments to thank you once again for your kindness. Those shields that you have donated to us are wonderful. If it weren't for you, our section dedicated to African objects wouldn't be anything else other than a mere collection of photographs. Also, I've been looking into these Dalmar you mention. I have to say, they seem to be rather fantastic. If it wasn't for your persona, account of their activities, I'd dismiss them as old wives' tales. I found a few books mentioning them, and I'd be very happy to lend them to you. They will be mailed at once. I hope you can satisfy your curiosity. Cordially yours, Simon Russell, Director, Durham Museum of World Arts. Hmm, very interesting. So what have we just found out? After James T. Blackwood came back from his job in Africa, he was still interested in the tribe of the Dalmar, even after he had witnessed the gruesome ritual that one night 
he still wanted to find out more. And this note proves that this happened after he came back. Why? Because he gave some of his objects to a museum, some shields. But, but that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I mean, if he was still interested in the Dalma, which are related to Africa, then why is all this stuff here? Why is his equipment here? Why did he just abandon everything he loved about Africa, everything he brought with him from there? This is not making sense. It's like, it's like some piece of the puzzle, the most obvious one that could explain everything, that could tell us what the picture looks like, is missing. This mansion. Why? Why did they leave it behind? Why did James just abandon his hobby and everything? He wanted to find out more about the Dalmar, this ancient, mysterious tribe. And now, everything is here. He just abandoned his hobby. He abandoned the search for answers. And now everything is just a dust catcher. What is the answer to this mystery? Why did he leave everything behind? Why did he leave this place together with his wife? What is the mystery behind Blackwood Manor? If only I knew. Well, there's nothing left to examine here in the gallery. There is no otherworldly object. There are just relics of the past. Relics of James T. Blackwood's African collection he just left behind for some reason we know nothing about. Why? That is the only question I have still. Why? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I guess we are done with the first floor of Blackwood Manor. That only leaves the attic. So, when we will come back, I guess we will try to make sense of things and then continue to head up the set of stairs over there behind the wall to examine even more the rest of this huge building. Will we find some answers? Or will the answers be stuck and forgotten in the past for all eternity? We will soon find out more. Until then, until then.